first impression of her. She was really friendly. It was different than I was uh, used to from a lot of Caucasian or white people. Very friendly, very nice. I, um, I liked her. I liked her personality from the beginning. So I think it was two years later, Shane came along and he was your first yes. son. What, yes, what is it exactly. like to hold your first child? Uh, I remember uh, the first time I held him and he was so tiny and it was almost like he moved in slow motion. He'd look at me and I'd look at him, yeah. And I wanted to have these memories and things that I could tell him as he got older. I remember taking his feet and this may be kind of weird, but I, I took his one of his feet and actually put it in my mouth. His whole foot did it, just so I could tell him someday, dude, I had your whole foot in my mouth at one time, you know. Uh, I remember just uh, thinking that, you know what, this is my little man, I'm going to teach him everything I know. Instead, he faced over a decade wondering where his little man was. Stanley and Shane's story continues in part two of Outlook. Now on the BBC World Service, today's BBC Minute update on the coronavirus. Hello, it's Andrea Nisha. We start in Australia, where from Wednesday, restrictions will be eased in the hardest hit state of Victoria.